Welcome back, Cannon Faithful. Well, after a couple of very hardy cannon fodders, it's only natural that this week would be a bit lighter. So, let's dive in. We open with a quick blurb on Halo Ground Command's appearance at Salute 2016, accompanied by a video. The video is a very nice look at the upcoming game, and really gives you a sense of scale. Check it out, link on the screen and in the description. Next up are a series of renders of the three Promethean Soldier classes, the Base Soldier, the Officer, and the Sniper. It's a nice up close and detailed look that you can only really get by going into theater, so having the renders is nice for reference, should the need ever arise. After that we have a video from Megablox, a short little animation showing ODST Buck taking on some Covenant. The short is an advert for Series 2 of Megablox's Halo Heroes, which also features Sergeant Forge, Romeo, Spartan DeMarco, and more. Once again, link on the screen and in the description if you want to see it for yourself. Next up is a community question. The question asks about the Venator class of Mjolnir armor. As it only shows up as a Gen 2 variant, there is some confusion as to how it was being tested back in 2551. According to Grimm, the Venator class was originally tested as part of the Gen 1 platform, but never fully realized until the Gen 2 platform had already launched. The question now is, was it being tested for integration with Mark IV or Mark V? I'd personally bet on the latter since Mark V launched in November of 2551, but that's a subject for another day. After that, we have a quick call for Warzone Firefight images for CF Snapshot, followed by a farewell to the Xbox 360. If you haven't heard, Microsoft announced earlier this week that the production of this console had finally come to an end. While existing 360s will still be supported, we can now say that the era of the Xbox 360 has officially come to an end. For many in today's Halo community, this console was a first, be it for gaming in general or Halo specifically. Even for those of us with experiences that preceded the Xbox 360, the console represents many memorable experiences. Good night, sweet prince. Appropriately, that wraps up the main article and brings us to the new universe entry this week, Epsilon Eridani 2, aka Reach. There's really not much new to say, especially if you've played Halo Reach and or read the Halo Fall of Reach novel. At its peak, the planet represented the might of the UNSC, its military powerhouse second only to Earth. It was one of at least five habitable planets in the Epsilon Eridani system, and the fourth largest body in that system. By 2552, the planet had dozens of ships in orbit at any given time, a full-strength carrier group headed by the UNSC Trafalgar, and was protected by 20 orbital supermax. As we know, of course, this wasn't enough to save the planet when it was discovered, first by the fleet of Valiant Prudence on July 23rd, and later by the Fleet of Particular Justice on August 30th. And that does it for today, short and sweet. Look forward this upcoming week to the next part of the Halo 5 Breakdown series, followed closely by a video recently voted for on Twitter, The History of Sergeant Avery Jr. Johnson. Oh, I know what the ladies like. Until then, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.